What up, YouTube? We're getting older. And nothing made me feel older than seeing this thumbnail for my favorite 90s and early 2000s commercials. And man, they're in 480p at best. And they're all for things that I remember that chat didn't really know about. Like sock em boppers and pillow pets. And those little plates that have like a tiger on it. And you reveal the face and you go, oh, people bog. And it's gonna be a good time. Make sure you like and subscribe and watch the video. Late 1990s nostalgic commercials? It's the most exciting thing you can do with the inside of a cake. Introducing the Betty Crocker Bacon Fill, a delightful new pan that lets you prepare a cake with all wow. kinds of delicious filling. Ice cream This cakes, feels so Italian old, but I remember tours, this. That means I'm so Alaska. old. That's what I'm saying. Ooh, flambe. I'm glad this isn't like a Rorschach test. Because I don't want to tell you what I see here. I watched a lot of TV as a kid. Kids nowadays, you get Netflix, you get fucking Hulu, Apple TV, you don't get commercials. You, or your money back. you didn't have to see the Connects commercial a hundred times and beg your parents to order it. Hey kids, follow the bouncing plate. Oink, oink, oink zoo, zoo pals. Wow, this is 2000s. This is for you fucking Zoomers. I don't give a shit about this. I was an adult when I saw this commercial. This one's not for me. My little cousins had Zoo Pals plays. I didn't give a shit. I was fucking playing Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> it's funny how Betty Crocker cake, you sleep, Zoo Pals chat pops the fuck off. What's squishy, stretchy, and- Oh, is this, is this Squand? Or what is this one? Floam! Floam is- oh my god. I told Rochelle about Squand the other day. This was probably like three months ago. And she thought I was a fucking psychopath. Do you guys know what Squand is? It's sand, but when you put it underwater, it's hard. But when you take it back up, it's sand again. And I bought some for my niece and she was like, that doesn't exist. That defies the laws of physics. Floam is fun you can feel. Roll it, mold it, or cover it. Floam though is fun you, you can feel. It. Look, now you can turn anything into a fabulous Floam creation. Transform <laughs> Making a VW bug is actually so funny to me. Oh, where are you? There we go. <laughs> this would be so hard for a kid. Unless they had like a VW Beetle toy and just put Floam on it. Can you imagine making those tiny rims? It's like you're in a little kid's sweatshop. This foam creation. Transform this wooden fossil into a fierce... Also, the amount of floam you would need to make this T-Rex is absurd. You would need 17 orders of floam. Oh, sock em boppers. More fun than a pillow fight. I hope we get sock em boppers. Damn, I love sock em boppers. My mom thought sock em boppers were too violent, and so I couldn't have them. Because they're essentially just boxing gloves. <laughs> Tired of looking like a fool when your cakes aren't cool? And why do tiny cupcakes take so long to make get in the wait I'm, I'm sorry i thought he said kicks tired of looking like a fool when your cakes uh. aren't cool how often does that happen have you ever been in the kitchen and just oh fuck they're gonna roast me for the cake i made for them presumably for free and why do tiny cupcakes take so long uh. to make get in the spotlight with big top cupcake oh, the you fast and big easy top way cupcake. to make colossal cupcakes that are up to 25 <laughs> Isn't a big cupcake just a cake? Isn't what makes it a cupcake that you make it in a cup? Isn't this like a bowl cake? Everyone's face will light up when you make a king size cupcake house. Grab it does your look camera cool. to remember oh, I actually, those I like giant the cupcakes. Your nothing's more thrilling than a chocolate yeah, filling. Some Made easy on that bad with our boy, optional dude. magic center insert. Fill That's our next YouTube pudding, video. Flome or frosting? Gelatin. You have to Even eat the cake. Even your favorite tiny cupcakes won't do. But twenty. <laughs> Do you think a kid's ever seen a cupcake and been like, ugh, yucky, tiny? Gelatin, Look at this girl's face. Favorite ice cream. She deserves some kind of acting award. She is so angry at the size of that cupcake. Any cupcakes won't do, but... And then she pops the fuck off because it's 25 times bigger. Use the tips to make a silly clown face that's oh, sure yeah. to get a laugh. But oh, we're not done. Sure we'll laugh. give you these awesome animal cookie cutters to bake three-dimensional cookies. Make yummy lions or tasty elephants. I feel like they're going outside of their, their target area here. Aren't they supposed to be the cupcake people? The big cupcake people? 3D cookie. This should just be a separate product, dude. Why are you giving away your industry secrets? Aren't all cookies 3D? And this fucking you guy two doesn't know what a 3D cupcakes, cookie is, chat. With SpaghettiOs pasta, your mouth will really rock. Once you get some lips around us, you know you'll be in trouble. Spaghetti, oh, oh, oh. What your mouth dream about. You know, Blink-182 wrote that song. Whoa. Campbell's Whoa. I like that one. That was short and sweet. These other ones are like two hours of like, please, 
Please fucking buy our giant cupcake. We spent all our money on 5,000 giant cupcake molds. Whereas SpaghettiOs walked in, sunglasses on, dropped it on the table, and we're like, it's fucking SpaghettiOs, dude. Eat it. <laughs> I love the SpaghettiOs method. Is this the one where Chef Boy already talks to the kid, which is very terrifying? Oh, not tonight, sweetie. You've had Chef every night this week. I've I've seen this commercial and I as a kid I never put together the thought that this kid had Chef Boy RD every night that week is kind of sad. Oh, that's kind of like that makes me feel icky. It's like, oh, the mom also has like a sad look on her face. Oh, not tonight, sweetie. She's like, oh man, dad's not coming home. <laughs> I'll, I promise I'll make dinner tonight. Gotcha. Oh. Damn, the office theme song kind of quiet since Chef Boy RD 2000s commercial came out, huh? Is this is this not the office theme song? Am I crazy? Did they yoink Chef Boy RD? <laughs> <laughs> the dog wants the chef. <laughs> this is crazy because we get it. Were they still figuring out commercials? You don't need this many sets. You know what I mean? It's a can rolling. The can is rolling from the grocery store. It's going to go to the kid's house. It is an absurd number. I'm chasing it through the back door over a hose in the doggy door. What do you want for dinner? Chef Boy RD. Boy, <laughs> this chef. stuff is good. The mom beat the child for stealing the can after that. It's a really sad time. It's a really sad commercial. That's why they took it off the air. Say hello to the pillow pet. Dude, it's a pillow, it's a pet, it's a pillow pet. This was big. It's a pillow. It's a pet. It's a pillow pet. I was too old to get a pillow pet, but man, I wanted a pillow pet. I still kind of want a pillow, pillow pet. pets are cute, huggable pets that pop open into full-size pillows. They're soft, they're cuddly, and they make perfect pillows. It's crazy because this is the simplest idea, but it's so good. Which I'm sure is all toy ideas. Someone's just like in their basement smoking weed, and they have a pillow, and they fold it, and they squint their eyes, and they go, that kind of looks like a cow. <laughs> and then they just make a million dollars. I'm anytime. Kids That's of what Tommy all ages dad love their Rugrats. pillow pets. There's a panda bear, a ladybug, a frog, a dog, a unicorn, a dolphin, a bumblebee, a monkey, and so many more. Just Everyone needs a it, pillow. Lady. Perfect for the overnight trips to grandma's house. This is more than just another stuff. <laughs> They're trying to entice the parents. Perfect for trips to grandma's house. You know, you want some time to yourself, some time alone, away from the little shit box. Fit right inside. Perfect for the overnight trips to grandma's house. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. This it's pillow? also bonkers how long commercials were on cartoon channels like Nickelodeon and Disney there would be like a three and a half minute commercial where it would just be like buy a fucking pillow pet you idiot buy one you gotta fucking buy it kid and it would just keep going here they come screaming across the sky it's lots and lots of jets and planes the greatest collection of aviation DVDs <laughs> no sky. it's lots and lots of jets and planes <laughs> That can't be the name of the DBs. <laughs> Holy shit. Someone's got to get a marketer in here. Hey, Jim. Hey, Jim, what do we call this shit? I, I don't know. What's in it? Well, it's, it's got like, I don't know. I would say lots and lots of jets, but also lots and lots of planes. Oh, how about lots and lots of jets and planes? You're a genius, Jim. <laughs> That's the fucking collection crazy. of aviation TV. You'll get to see big planes, little planes, soaring stunt and passenger <laughs> planes, even planes that fly real low, old planes, new planes, fast planes, slow planes, smoking planes, <laughs> even planes at supersonic speeds, plus much, much more when you order lots and lots of jets and planes. Stop Before baby. YouTube, you would have to buy a DVD of cool shit. You couldn't just go look up stuff. Man, that name slayed me. Game. Spin Ooh. the spinner and move through the house with secret booby traps. Shaggy's been trapped. Man, Watch out, I don't know. Most of you are probably of the age where you understand it now, but holy shit. Parents, or let's just say adults, 
fucking hate complicated board games with children. I had about a hundred of these that would take 45 minutes to set up. That would be super dumb to play. You have to look up the rules. And at the end, if the kid doesn't win, they cry. I actually think complicated board games for children are the worst thing of all time. I had a Titanic board game that I would force my mom to play and she would only do it about once a month and it was two and a half hours and I didn't even really understand how to play. From the prehistoric past and the limitless future comes Robo Raptor. Fluid body Robo mechanical Raptor? motion and three programmable behavior modes make him interactive, responsive, or unpredictable. Touch sensors. Oh, interactive, responsive, or unpredictable like a true Robo Raptor. Vision sensors see you. Take control of Robo Raptor with the multifunction remote or let him roam free sensory awareness lets him feel and react with his environment friend or predator you decide i mean this came out a while back i'm sure this did not have like the power that it's showing robo raptor a fusion Does of seem technology cool, and if i was a kid and i saw this commercial i'd go holy shit personality batteries not included from wow we unleash the power of robo reptile Just Robo Reptile, a different version? The autonomous Robo Reptile claims his territory, stalking his prey with bio. Dude, Robo Reptile actually fucking twerks it. Robo Raptor kind of boring. Robo Reptile? This the autonomous cute. Robo Reptile. Put this guy on water and he's walking like that lizard that kind of does this. <laughs> Little bear. Man, the, the audio balancing on this video, not that great. I remember as a kid, and I think kids, this is probably a normal thing because all of like the toothpaste I see has very gentle flavors, but I remember thinking toothpaste was way too spicy as a kid. I remember being terrified of brushing my teeth because, oh, the mint is so spicy, it hurts. And so I used like a bubblegum toothpaste until I was 17 years old. New from Nerf, the N-Strike Recon CS6, the blaster you can customize for any mission. For night missions, equip the red spy light to spot hidden targets. Ooh, spy for multi-target missions, the six dark quick fire clip. What kind of missions do they think kids are running? Night missions, multi-target missions. Gives you extra firepower. And for long range missions, flip up the sight to nail your target. Uh. The N-Strike Recon CS6, only from Nerf. Blaster comes to show, another blaster sold separately. Batteries not included. Yeah, well I'm the doodle bear, I come with me. Ooh, a doodle bear. I had a doodle bear. You just fucking throw them in the washer. <laughs> and then you can do it again. They ask me which tattoo I love the best. I hop in that washing machine and yeah. come out nice and clean. Cause I'm oh, the hell doodle yeah. I had a blue doodle, doodle bear. Doodle bear comes in one of four different colors with washable doodle pens and tattoos. Hey, Furby! Hey, Furby! Ooh. Furby's very creepy. I had a friend with a Furby and I didn't like it. I don't know what kind of marketing they did when they made Furby they sold separately. that made them think, hey, hey rat creature, but big ears, and maybe we give it like a bird beak. You know what I'm saying? I have no idea what they were thinking. Hey, Furby! What? Sing me a song. Me, no. Listen. With new. <laughs> it's funny because like, hey, we can't program that many things. So if we don't understand the command, just say me, no, listen, Furby. Also, I'm saying this like Furby is an actor. Like he's on the back steps behind the set going... <sighs> Fuck these kids. Pokemon, Sapphire and Ruby. More than a hundred new Pokemon. <laughs> this is actually goaded. People that look like Pokemon. Is your dessert so boring? It's left your family snoring? Not anymore. It <laughs> There's. Uh, okay. We've only watched, what, 15 commercials, but three of them have been for desserts, and they've all started black and white with family members asleep or with their hand on their head sad. It was a real vibe for the boring dessert industry. Dessert's so boring, it's left your family snoring? Not anymore. Also, what kind of shitty family is like, damn, what a boring dessert. You baked this? This baklava? Are you kidding me? It's boring. Introducing the original chocolate factory. The fun I want the chocolate to factory. Into it. Dip it, fill dunk it, it, fill it, or Look, pour it. Regular pots burn chocolate, but chocolate factory's double boiler is two pans in one. The bottom simmers water while the top quickly melts chocolate. You can you can temper chocolate like this. You don't need you don't need this special pot. You can just use two two pots if you want to. There's there's other there's other ways to do it. I do remember this commercial because I remember those snowman made of pure white chocolate and wanting to take a bite out of it so bad. Oh, that was it! Wait, we didn't even get sock and boppers.
What? Sock em boppers. Sock em boppers. Sock em boppers. You can sock all Oh, day. soccer boppers. I thought it was sock em. Like, sock it to em. Soccer bopper. Really? Is this some Berenstein Bears shit? And pop all night. Sock em boppers. Sock em boppers. More fun than a pillow fight. Blow em, Blow em up. up. Put your hand inside. Put your hand inside, get ready to have. Dude, this was actually the time of your life, by the way, is the next line. Maybe a formative moment of my life. <laughs> the time of your life. Sock a bopper. Sock a bopper. Sock em once and bop em twice. Sock a bopper. Sock a bopper. Sock a bopper. More fun than the pull fight. Why would my mom buy these for me? I was insane. My brother's a lot older than me, so he moved out when I was young. It would be insane for her to buy me soccer boppers, because who am I going to bop? Her? She's the only person in bopping range. As a kid, there's no one else to bop. It would be insane for a parent to buy an only child this. And now I understand. My big time toys. Sock em boppers. There was sock em boppers? What? This is the same thing with the same song, but with a different letter? Sock em boppers. More fun than a pillow fight. Blow em up, put your hand inside, get ready to have the time of Sock em boppers, sock em boppers, more fun I can't tell if this is edited Stolen Valor or if the company like lost. Yeah, they probably rebranded. They probably lost the rights when they like kicked the original founder and they had to do this because this is what I remember. Sock em boppers. In 2002, Mattel sued Big Time Toys for a million dollars for trademark infringement over the use of the name Sock em boppers, claiming that the name infringed on the name of their toy Rock em Sock em Robots, which was eventually settled when Big Time Toys changed the name of their product to Soccer Boppers. That actually makes sense. I'm old. I was on the Sock em boppers train this one you can tell it's older because there's only three pixels in this entire video wow. it was a berenstein bears thing so many compression artifacts you can't even see the kid's eyes yeah that's that's just how it is well that's probably enough of that we've watched commercials for uh 45 minutes something like that